Well, what can you say about the resolve uh, of, of our guys? And I'm um, so proud of, of the players and, and the coaches. Um, we told them before the game uh, we belonged on this stage and uh, told them to continue to believe. We in the locker room knew uh, we were continuing to get better. Um, and, and does it show up always on Saturday? No, but when it would click, we thought we had a really good football team. And uh, the guys just continued to believe uh, throughout the game. Even when we were down 10 to nothing and down 17 to seven, um, I saw a sideline uh, of guys that uh, uh, really felt that they uh, had a chance to win the football game and stay in the football game against a great, great football team. I, I, that's a, that's a, a, without question a top five team to me. Uh, and we were down 17-7 and offensively, we were uh, cracking and winning the line of scrimmage. And, and and that was the belief that our guys needed to say, you know what, we're, we're going to do some good things if we're winning the line of scrimmage. And can't say enough about uh, everybody, you know, from the Skyler and the offense and the offensive line, how they played to defensively. Uh, we tackled exceptionally well. Uh, missed one thing on C.D. Lamb where he made a few guys miss and scored. And then on special teams, we were big as well. Uh, great program win. Um, most happy for the players. Most happy for the players. They, they earned it. And, and we have to build off it. That's the thing we finished up in there. Uh, we had a, an opportunity to be successful because of our preparation. We attacked the process on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, and we said, I don't care what the score is. Um, you just detail every play and give yourself an opportunity, and, and they sure did that. So uh, really, really, really happy for the guys. You guys entered as a 23-and-a-half point underdog, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure you've never been a 23-point underdog in your coaching career. Just what is the feeling about this, putting uh, the college football world on its ear today? Uh, I don't. I, I don't have any idea on on the lines and spreads. Thank God. Um, but it was, yeah. I mean, it was a statement for our guys. And, and you get a chance to play at home. And I told the seniors before the game, how many more opportunities are you going to have? to play in front of this great fan base, to play in front of your home crowd. And it was a phenomenal crowd. And they stayed in it uh, for the full 60. And uh, so just once again, I, credit to those players. Um, obviously, Eric Gallon went out with an injury. Yeah. He had a, a big play on his own. Blitz, we dropped back and broke a pass, and then may have caused a fumble in the kickoff return. I guess, how is he doing, and how big were those plays? Yeah, great. And I, I'm sick for, for EG um, because he this was his first opportunity, really, where we were going to give him significant snaps. And you're right, he made a big play knocking a slant ball away. I didn't see what happened if he stripped the ball out on the kickoff. When I went to the sideline, a couple of the OU guys said, Coach, it, it didn't look good. And so uh, my prayers are out to him. We said a prayer for him in the locker room. And um, yeah, I feel sick for a kid that's a fifth-year senior. What's going through your head during that review of the onside kick? Um, you know, all those plays are reviewable. I, I know that. I didn't get an explanation because were, it was kind of mayhem after after they an announced it. But from the vantage point that we had, we thought it was touched um, uh, before 10 yards. And, and um, you know, you, you, catch a, you catch a break a little bit. But you know what? Um, uh, our guys deserve to win that game. I'll, I'll say that. And that would have been a sick feeling had they gotten the ball back. And who knows what would have happened. But uh, I thought we played better. And I I thought we should have won. What to you was the biggest difference in the offense today to be so <clears throat> Just rhythm, you know, getting into a rhythm offensively and, and being able to run the football with our power game inside. Um, we were able to hit some perimeter run. I think it was big for us to have Jordan Brown back. Um, it, it gave us back that three back set with, with some older guys with Jordan James and Harry. So that, that helped us. And, and I thought Skyler was on point. You know, he just was on point. He saw pressure uh, and delivered the football. Uh, and, you know, against a, a really – uh, dominant defense. We didn't turn the football over, I don't believe, and that's obvious, obviously a big thing. What did the offense do best to keep its cool when they are staring at a 10-0 deficit early? Uh, don't look at the scoreboard, to be honest with you, and just keep keep grinding it. And uh, we felt we had some good plays. We just hadn't gotten to them yet. And uh, um, obviously, uh, so happy for Coach Mess um, because I thought he had him really off balance. Coach, what changed about the running game? How come it opened up so much today? When you couldn't tell you, other than we're continuing to work on it. You know, I, that, we're six games into this. Now we're seven games into it. We're just continuing to work on it and try to get better on a daily basis. And, and um, 
you know, for whatever reason, the old line took it upon themselves and, and, and played much better. We were able to cut guys on the perimeter. In the past weeks, we hadn't done that as well uh, with some of our three-back stuff. And, and being able to cut guys down, I think uh, all those things. Plus, let's be honest, when you have some success, all of a sudden you get some life, you get some belief. And, uh, you know, we got five seniors up front there that have a lot of pride. When, when you get that running game going, does it open up the playbook for Coach Messingham? Well, you're not in second and 13 and, and those things, and we were in manageable distance. We talked about staying on schedule uh, and not getting behind the sticks, and, and we were able to have some second and fives and second and fours, and, and then little things, you know. It, we condense everybody into the boundary, and they don't cover them, and we dump it out there and get seven, get six with YB and Dalton. Those are big plays. With so much that you could have focused on with their offense, what was the main thing you guys did for each on defense? Well, we... we Tried to give them some different looks. We played a little bit more Tampa, too. We played some too deep against them um, that we hadn't played all year. Uh, we played less of what we call our single high defense. Uh, we didn't pressure a whole bunch. I thought the D-line played really well. Uh, you're just not going to shut those guys down. You know, I kept looking at it and saying, okay, they're at 23 still because our offense is doing a great job. You're, you're counting possessions and points and those things because you know that they can score from anywhere on the field. And, and, and they showed that with C.D. Lamb's 70-yard you know, pitch and catch. I mean, just they're never out of a game. What can you say about Skyler today? Um, you guys know how I feel about the kid. Um, I, I love his competitiveness. I love the kid. He's a he's a guy that that wants to be great, wants to be perfect. I thought that uh, you know he really stepped up in a leadership role today. Even when the defense was out there, he was always the guy in front on the sideline cheering those guys on. And uh, he's getting better and better within our system. How big time was it to come out in the second half and outscore him seventeen and nothing? In the third? Yeah, that was that was huge. Uh, we we had the ball back and. and moved it well and got a field goal and then we're able to get some stops you know the the stops we had and the field goals that we held them to were really the difference in the game. That I mean, when those guys are moving the football and we're holding them to three, guys, that's a friggin' win. That's a big time win for us on defense. And then we were able to get a couple of couple of stops. And then you know the AJ Parker pick and to get points out of that was big as well. In what way does your process-driven message really take hold in a ball game? within the confines of a game when you're down by 10 twice. Yeah, just, just focus on, on the next play. Focus on that that play. And when I say the process of, of doing your job, you just do your job. Even when when EG got hurt and there was kind of a delay, we just went right back to that thought process of you know attack this next play, attack the process within this play. You do your job. You've had a lot of success, obviously, um, not having letdowns after big wins like this in the past. What do you do going forward to this week? You enjoy the heck out of this one, and we'll worry about it on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> what does Jordan Brown's uh, return give you in terms of the perimeter play? And the perimeter? Well, and he was nicked up again. I'll have to find out, but he was able to kind of come in and out. Um, just he's got tremendous speed. He's a tremendous receiver out of the backfield. Obviously, on the one uh, uh, sideline ball that he caught, uh, it was a great throw and catch. Um, but it just gives us another uh, another weapon and a, and a fifth year senior, an older, a fourth year senior, an older guy uh, that's been in uh, a lot of battles before. You, you mentioned the AJ Parker pick a minute ago, but just how big was that play in terms of getting it and the fact that you got one on the score and take the lead going into half? It was, it was really big, um, you know, because it, you're always on your heels with those guys. And, and that's the thing. You, you want to play aggressive, but they have so many trick plays and so many different variations. And and we saw that. They hit a couple of trick plays on us. And then we play soft, and they hit a, an under route, and then they're hard to tackle. And um, so, you know, we talked about being able to create a, a huge turnover to change the momentum. Well, we were able to create two, one of them on teams uh, and, and with AJs. And we, and we said we had to win the special teams battle. We had to find a way to get an explosive play, whether that was a return or a turnover. And to follow up to that, did you just see either right after it happened or at least during the week just how much this game meant to him being an Oklahoma guy? You mentioned how much it means to play against the I'm sure it did all of our, our Oklahoma guys to have that opportunity. Um, but, you know, it, I, I think that they're more excited about uh, playing with their brothers that they have in the locker room. You guys are 5-2 and two now. How, how much better do you feel like this team has been able to get week to week so far? Well, it is. And it, it, we're better, obviously. I think that's, that's a proven point. Mm -hmm. But in the same respect, you can throw out whatever we did last week and we can throw out whatever we did this week once we get to Monday. And don't let any scores of games or anything like that um, 
get into your mind because come Monday, we have to you know attack our preparation Monday through Friday to give us a chance on Saturday. What is it about Skyler or the offense as a whole that has turned him into such a good goal line rusher in these last few months? Putting it in his hands more. You know, uh, of making a conscious effort to say, let's get him the football more. You know, we, we've worked on the option, uh, just haven't had a great chance to use it. Uh, and then some of the Q power stuff, uh, it's stuff we did at, at my previous school a lot with quarterbacks we had. And, and for us in the red zone, we have to have that 11th man, you know, that quarterback that can make those plays. Anything else? Just a comment on Jalen Hurts and. Play yeah. Um, yeah, we weren't really able to contain the kid. Uh, great, great player, uh, great competitor, um, and uh, can't say enough positive things about uh, the Oklahoma football team. That was a great football team that we beat. That is going to uh, win an awful lot of games, and it's uh, he's a uh, he's awesome. He's you know just great, great, great player. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thanks, guys.